The creator of Cyberlight Apartments released a new mod called the Cyberlight Cannon, which is a set of two weapons that can be found in the Cyberlight offices. This brand new interior location is right next to the combat zone, which is a highly unsafe area for anyone unprepared. Upon entering the offices, a remarkable smell can be noticed coming from the door on the left. The front and right doors are sealed shut and inaccessible. By opening the left door, a gust of thick odor is released right into the face. The dimly lit room, as if it was taken from a noir movie, welcomes us. The source of the odor can be found in the bathroom, unsurprising as the window hasn't been opened in decades due to the danger that the combat zone presents. At this point, the smell has fused with the skin particles, and we will need to learn to live with it. The first gun, along with the various new ammo types, is located in the nearby safe. Very slick and modern design makes this hand cannon the ultimate choice for anyone wanting to play as a modern man, although the body stench might cause problems when interacting with others. The weapon uses the 44 caliber ammo and it has four different modable parts, the receiver, barrel, grip and sights. The receiver has the usual three types aside from the standard one and they require the gun and nut perk to be built. The barrel can be turned into a shotgun version that significantly lowers the range but makes the gun much more effective. It also requires the science perk aside from the gun nut one. The grip can be comfort or hard and since I'm not a big fan of holding hard things in my hands, I switched to the comfort one. The sight can also be one of the usual options and this being a shotgunny hand cannon, anything more than a reflex sight would be a bit inappropriate. Careful aiming lets us see through the sights, which change color when firing. The recoil is significant as it should be on a hand cannon, although the initial blast isn't as satisfying as it could be. The weapon lacks visual effects which would probably increase the amount of satisfaction from shooting it. Firing at living beings is definitely somewhat satisfying and very effective. The pain it inflicts is comparable to the power of a hundred babies all screaming in unison. The non-shotgun version is also powerful enough to do damage even to the ugliest of Commonwealth inhabitants, albeit the sound it makes could probably be a bit more powerful. The second weapon is located on the desk, not too far from the safe where the first weapon is. Very compact by design, but powerful by nature. It uses custom 20mm grenades that come in frag, incendiary and plasma versions. It would be hard to believe that such a small thing can be that destructive, it's like a chihuahua on bath salts. When modding it, we can change the launcher, barrel, grip and sights. The launcher comes in the previously mentioned versions, as each grenade type can fit only in the appropriate chamber. We all know who will go into the incendiary chamber, but unfortunately it is currently disabled due to bugs. The launcher barrel can be upgraded with a grip, so you can grasp the little thing a little bit harder, so when it fires you have more control over where the projectile goes. The large grip comes in the same types as the pistol, and of course, comfort one is preferred. The sight can be one used for grenade launchers that I don't really understand, so I went with the scope. It has nice straightforward aiming, and while it is probably unwise to place your head anywhere near the cannon, it does help me with precision. The destructive power of this weapon is magnificent. With one hit, it can absolutely devastate anything in its path and effortlessly remove limbs from its targets. The sound, along with the brief pop of the explosion, makes it a very merciful devastator as well. Now of course we can't forget about naming these weapons. The grenade launcher shall bear the name of the Cyber Mutilator, while the pistol shall be called the Cyber Ass Blastilator. Hopefully the bugs will get fixed soon and we will have both Cyberlight weapons and apartments in the game, ready to be used and abused as necessary. Thanks for watching and remember to click on all of the related things and possibly give me suggestions for future videos. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your butt.